solstices and equinox. Every day you will be notified with a new video which improves your knowledge day by day. So, don't forget to subscribe. In a year there are four seasons. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Each season lasts three months. The seasons occurs in a cycle. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Again spring starts. Solstices. Summer and winter have a midpoint. This midpoint is called solstices. The summer solstice is referred to as the longest day and the shortest night of the year. On this day, the number of hours of daylight are at their maximum, while the number of hours of darkness are at their minimum. The winter solstice is referred to as the shortest day and longest night of the year. On this day, the number of hours of daylight are at their minimum, while the number of hours of darkness are at their maximum. During one half of the year, the north side of the earth is tilted towards the sun, and the south is tilted away from the sun. For the other half of the year, the north side of the earth is tilted away from the sun, and the south is tilted toward the sun. When the northern hemisphere is most tilted towards the sun, the northern hemisphere receives most sunlight and experiences its summer solstice. While the southern hemisphere receives least sunlight and has its winter solstice. This occurs around June 21st. When the northern hemisphere is most tilted away the sun, the northern hemisphere receives least sunlight and experiences its winter solstice. While the southern hemisphere receives most sunlight and has its summer solstice. This occurs around December 21st. Equinox On the equinox, night and day are nearly the same length. 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night all over the world. On the equinoxes, the tilt of the Earth's axis is perpendicular to the sun's rays. The sun shines directly on the equator. There are two equinoxes every year, in September and March, when the sun shines directly on the equator, and the length of day and night is nearly equal. The March equinox is the spring, or vernal equinox in the northern hemisphere marking the start of spring. In the southern hemisphere, it is the autumnal or fall equinox, which marks the beginning of fall. This happens on March 20, every year. The September equinox, is also known as the autumnal, or fall equinox in the northern hemisphere, and is considered the first day of fall. In the southern hemisphere, it is known as the vernal, or spring equinox, and marks the first day of spring. This happens on September 22nd, every year. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you for watching Make It Easy Education.